tidings, all you beautiful individuals of this beautiful planet. My name is Eric, flying a little Han Solo on today's League of Legends episode as we deal with the aftermath, the post-hype that was finals weekend. And yes, the Gen G3 of T1 was extra spicy, but historically, we got to talk about the more significant finals. Dive a little bit deeper because energy versus cloud nine. Safe to say the biggest upset in LCS history, but I think we can go a little bit further. You might be saying this is the biggest upset in finals history. And no, I'm not talking just LCS finals. I'm talking, well, at least limit it to all major regions and international events even. If you're looking specifically at that finals matchup, this is probably the biggest upset of all time. And I got a few examples that maybe you can compare, maybe you can argue was a bigger upset, but the fact that NRG were A, the fifth seed heading into playoffs, they were 3 0 pretty handily by Cloud9 in that upper bracket finals previously to the main finals. They needed five games against the team Liquid Squad that was anything but consistent throughout the playoffs. And then get smashed in game one of the grand finals and proceed to win three in a row. All these storylines, first year as a brand new organization back in the LCS, all this immense with being the biggest upset in LCS history, but I'm going bigger saying finals history. So first one you want to compare to, and when you're talking upsets, immediately you go back to 2022 Worlds and think of the run that DRX had. And yes, if you're going underdog upset, you look at the entire world's run for DRX, 100%. That remains the biggest, greatest, most insane upset of all time. But if you're looking specifically at the finals, DRX versus T1, I mean, DRX has already, had already gone through this miracle run. And I don't think I know T1 was favorite still, people would have said going into that finals because of the history behind T1, obviously Faker and how good they had looked in their previous rounds. But it wasn't a massive upset for DRX to win that because the magic was already behind them. They'd already beaten Gen G, already beaten EDG, defending champions. So it was an upset, but when you're looking through the microscope of specifically that finals matchup, Energy versus Cloud9 denying them a three-peat is probably bigger, was probably more surprising. I think people, maybe the fashion that DRX won that game five was a little bit more dramatic, but NRG didn't even need a game five, which was even more surprising. T1 versus DRX was so competitive. They were at such an even level that it's hard to even say an upset either way, but DRX as a whole run through Worlds, yes much bigger upset than the bracket run that you're talking about for energy obviously because of the level of competition number one uh, but just the finals as an isolated look in still think that energy one is a little bit bigger then you can go even further back and you talk about the 2015 msi finals which of course again features skt against edward gaming this is maybe the one finals that you can talk about at the same level because this is 2015 the LPL is not even on the same level as the LCK as it has shifted since really 2018 when IG won Worlds this 2013 as soon as the LCK started playing internationally they dominated 2013 2014 and 2015 except for this one MSI, was all about the LCK. Hilariously enough, to, of course, this is Deft versus Faker. Seven years before they match up in the World Finals of 2022. But 2015, everyone was expecting SKT to win this series, even when they go down 2-1, and then Faker subs in, and then you have the infamous Game 5, where he picks his undefeated LeBlanc, blah, blah, blah. We all know the story, but heading into that series, I'm... Sure, if you looked across the board, every caster would have been picking SKT. Uh, and EDG obviously shows up, gets the specific comp to take down the Blanc. And because the LPL was so looked at as a little brother to the LCK at this point in time, this is maybe the only finals for me that you can have in the same conversation. And maybe I would accept arguments as a bigger upset for EDG just because the Titans that SKT was. And I think this was the first international best of five that the that Korea had ever lost 
up to this point, maybe, I guess 2014 you had uh, Naj and Shield losing to OMG. So, okay. The second best of five that Korea had ever lost, which was insane up to that point. Again, it's hard to compare an international event versus an LCS finals, but still, given credit where credit's due for EDG over SKT, the only other one that I, you know, I, I thought about putting TSM in 2020 summer, but they weren't huge underdogs against FlyQuest. Maybe if it had been a different team that they matched up against, but the, the run throughout playoffs uh, was an upset from the get-go for TSM, but still not enough to be in the same conversation here. You can go as recently as 2023, this year, spring, for Mad Lions. Not only did they have this miracle gauntlet run to get to the finals, but when you look specifically at that series, we tend to forget this was a team BDS that was 12 and one, actually 12 and 0. I don't think they lost at all up until those finals. And then they go up 2-0 and look like they're ready to sweep their way to their first ever LEC championship. Mad Lions eventually complete the reverse sweep. It's a completely tilted BDS team by that fifth game. But heading into those finals, even though the Mad Lions were looking better and better and seemed to be leveling up, BDS had looked so damn good throughout that entire bracket run. It had been beaten up on squads like Team Vitality when we actually felt good about that squad. And then Mad Lions complete the reverse sweep. I, I think most people would have been definitely siding with BDS to the level that people were siding with Cloud9 against NRG. Probably not, but it's insane that we have two of... That's probably the biggest upset in finals that the LEC has ever seen because it's been favorites winning time and time again over the years over in Europe. So that Mad Lions won probably the biggest in Europe, but this NRG one has just had an absolute different level. If you had to rank the other ones, I think, I think honestly, SKT EDG is right behind NRG. Then you have Mad Lions against BDS and the DRX SKT one, or DRX T one, excuse me. Because they were pretty even heading into those finals, I'd put below those. But NRG versus Cloud9, I think it's going to remain for a very long time. The biggest upset of any major region or international finals. Because again, I can't go through all these wildcard reads. I'm sure there's some crazy upset. There's always bigger upsets in the smaller region in these finals. But major region or international, NRG denying Cloud9 the three-peat is the biggest upset we have ever seen. You can lock that up and take it to the bank. But that is it today for League Unlock. My name is Eric. Thank you to all you beautiful people for watching as always. And we will catch you on that flippity flip.